then you've got um, a concert coming up. You've got two of them. You've got one in Brooklyn, and not Brooklyn. You've got one in uh, Queens College and one in Jersey. Right, in Bergen Pack in New Jersey, Englewood, New Jersey. Um, yeah, so those concerts. Um, Ohad. We're flying in Ohad special for this. You know, I mean, first, there's, there's no class act bigger than Ohad. And you wrote them a song. Ohad. And, and that was obviously the shidduch. That's obviously how that happened. Bottom line is, is that the song Malchuscha, which is on Malchuscha. his album, right? That song um, is that is that it, well, it, it 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 did amazing things in camp in all the camps yeah. this summer. I and mean, you posted how many videos did you post? Probably. You know, uh, uh, of so many different camps covering the song, and Malchuscha. and it was so. Malchuscha. And I kept saying, you know what? Maybe Ohad was. M Catering more, like he's on every Hask show. Yeah. They're always putting him in with Health God and Avram Fried and all that. But then I saw a different side of him when he came into the studio to record Machuscha. This young, he's a young guy. Young, fresh, can sing like no one else can sing. Unbelievable range with a smile on his face. Doesn't take himself too seriously. He's t willing to do anything. And, uh, and he performs the song. Um, he performed the song amazing. He, he he blew my socks off. I was like, when he was singing in the studio, he, he did amazing. Any lick that I threw at him, he threw right back at me. No problem. Easy to sing, and uh, he was a pleasure. And I, I kept saying, I, I I want to show my audience, the families, the audience, the people that aren't spending two hundred fifty dollars a ticket at Hask, or because in New York, the only times he ever came in was for the Hask shows, and and maybe for yeah. Ohel, or but never for like a regular family show. You know, where ticket, where you can get a ticket for twenty dollars. You can get a ticket for twenty-five dollars, and and I think that people would see this side of Ohad, this fun side of Ohad. And he's he, at both shows. And he's at both shows, and he's definitely going to throw in his stuff that made him famous. Obviously, those that crazy range, that unbelievable slow ballad yeah. way of him singing. But but he'll throw in the Malchus, he'll throw in the various Stichli, his Lebedik songs that he sings, and uh, he knows who he's catering to, and he's very excited about doing it because of this, because he's showing that he can, you know, this is the kind of audience, and he's you can see a different side of him. You can see a, such a fun, labored side of him, which I'm so excited to show America, because in Israel they see it all the time. And in Europe, my gosh, I mean, he's going to see travels from country to country to country. He's just every night somewhere else. Um, every time I speak to him, I go, okay, we're, we're part of the world that you in right now. You know, he's just everywhere, performing everywhere. Um, he's a real class act, and I'm, I'm really excited to have him. So, yeah, that's that. And then we have the, the uh, people are calling it the New New Hevra, uh -huh. <laughs> which I'm just calling another group, another uh -huh. group of Hevra. Every few years, I try to replace uh, the guys. Um, and this time, you've got members of YBC. Of YBC, right, right. Uh, the main reason why we do that is it, it, to exchange guys. Is because the, we have I, I don't think people realize some, some of the kids from the early years are married and on their way now. Exactly, exactly. Bottom line is, I, I, you know, uh, I know David's going to be upset that I'm saying this, but David Nachman was the original member of the Chavra, yeah. lead singer of the Chavra since day one. Um, and he's like my little brother, a close friend. Um, you know, I, I went to him. I actually went to him first. I said, David, if you say no, then we're going to keep these guys way, the way it is right now, Chavra 3 guys, and we're just going to keep going and we're just going to keep Chavra a little bit more age appropriate, maybe, yeah. you know, and, you know, take out some of the techno, maybe put in a little bit yeah. more, you know. And I was like, no, that's not what Chavra's about. Chavra is for, it, it was meant for Kira. When we first came out, we did it so we can show people that, you know, that we can have fun, fresh Jewish music and people can listen to it and be inspired by that, you know. And then it took Baruch Hashem and did what it did, you know, the success that it had. But that was the initial, original idea was I met Dovah Nachman in, in, in Adelphia, in Yeshiva. And, it, it, and we, came Yehei, yeah. you know, and Yehei. And he wrote, he co-wrote with me Shema Kaleinu, which is another big hit for, for Hevra. And... Uh, and I was like, and besides the fact, if you want to start doing choreography, there is no way I'm doing choreography at this point in my life. He has Baruch Hashem, three uh, great kids, and, and married, obviously. And, and he's, and he's uh, so he, he's the one that gave me the Haskama. And then I said, okay, let's do this. We're going young. So we went out there, and we took two ex-YBC boys, amazing, a guy from Toronto, another guy, and, and then one of the second Hever guy, from the group of second, from Hever three. And um, we have a group. And... Uh, they're young and they're fresh and they're giving a different, you know, taste to whatever it is. Um, and the new we're album. Do an album? Yeah, we're working on the new album now. It's hopefully going to be out soon. Uh, we'll have it ready for Lag Weimar, but we're not Probably sure summertime. if. Summertime. Uh, it'll be ready soon. And I'm so excited about that album coming out. Um, and they're going to oh, be great. Yeah, and they're going right to sing a couple of songs also. On the, I mean, the, the, the amount of emails I get when's the next Chavra album? When's the next Chavra album? When's the Chavra going to be 
performing. I keep saying, you know. They did a performance, though, I think, recently. So we just did. So when we got together, we did a few shows. We actually did a, little, a mini tour. We went to Baltimore, and we, did, we went to Canada, we, we, whatever. And we, we were staying so out sorry, of New York. How, how's the reaction been? Unbelievable. I mean, just screaming, screaming, chaotic screaming. That's all there is when the cover gets up on stage. From the girls. From the island. The island. <laughs> the island is screaming. The island is screaming. We're, we're, we're here to make people happy, and that's what was happening. And, and, uh, and it was an amazing, amazing response. And uh, we, hope, we hope right there, you know, with, with these guys. So that, that's the show. And then we have YBC obviously doing th this song, the first song yeah. on the Amen Amen song. Um, it's a great dance to it that Yossi Newman, our choreographer and conductor, did. Um, it's, it's definitely very exciting. And what we did was this year, we did one in Queens College and we're doing one in New Jersey. This is the first time that we're doing a concert on Cholomite in New Jersey. And <coughs> And if you noticed, usually we do like 15 shows at Cholomite. We do all the day shows. Yeah. You're right with Uncle Maishi and whatever it is. And uh, we saw like like 15,000 people in like four days. It's and uh, it was getting it was getting hard for the kids, you know. And uh, I felt, you know what? I, I'm always afraid to do two nights. Just do one do one night, and I'll do a bunch of day shows for kids. And I realized, you know what? I think if I do one show in Queens, one show in New Jersey, and not do anything during the day. They're much happier. And the kids will be happy. They have their free, their Cholomite free for them. At the same time, we can do two shows at night, and all the 15,000 people that show up, when we do day shows, we do day shows in New Jersey, we do day shows in Muncie, we do all that area. Angle in New Jersey is the first exit off the Palisades. It's like, it's actually the same distance from my house to theirs, my house to Queens College. So we have Brooklyn people coming there, but at the same time, North Jersey, uh, Passaic, and Clifton, and Teaneck, and, and Elizabeth, and all those areas, and then there Muncie, it's right there. They're all finally so excited that they're able to come to a show that's only 15 minutes away from their house, whereas they would have to schlep in, you know, to Queens, which How is much very longer difficult. For so we're doing it for them, and we're doing it for our kids, and um, you know, and we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But the reaction's been amazing, so we're very excited about it.